What's up you guys, Nate from the 8020 Drummer here with a rare brush lesson. It's been a minute since I've done something brushes, but I've been practicing a lot of brushes lately. So I wanted to show you guys something I've been working on, something simple. So let's go ahead and get to it. Oh, by the way, I'm Nate, this is the 8020 Drummer. Every week we do a video breaking down some kind of drum concept. Either something you guys request or something I find interesting. If you like this video and want to see more like it, I recommend you click the little subscribe button down to the bottom right. All right, let's get into it. So, the lick we're going to be learning is this. One, two, three, four. So that's the basic bit of it. There's a little variation to that where we do triplets with it. But within this lick, there are a bunch of assumptions I'm making about what you already know. And the first and foremost is how to play the basic brush groove. So I want to touch on this. There are other videos by me on YouTube with more about this. There's a lot more about this in my course. But just to show you what I'm doing in the groove part of this, Let's break it down. So it's going to be one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. And we're adding the skipped note at either the bottom or the top of that half moon arc. So this is a variation on what some people do. I like this because it has the same demarcation of where the quarter notes are, but it's just meatier. You, since you have that whole half circle, you get to travel around the outside of the drum head. So let's add the skip note now. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. You'll notice I'm playing along with the guys next to me. So pro tip, a lot of times one mistake I see a lot of beginners making with this is that when they're doing the skip note, with the right hand, they'll pick the left hand up. So they'll be going three, four, one. And what you want to do instead is have the left hand sweep overlap the skip note with the right hand. So three, four, one. So that's your basic groove. And of course you can add the hi-hat on two and four. And I do it at the top of the half moon or the bottom because if you're in three, it's helpful to be able to do it at either side. So there's your groove. So now let's talk about this little three, four. The first part of this, I'm going to show it to you step by step, is so let's just do that. Three, four. Let's separate the hands. Three, four. So you're making a inward counterclockwise circle with the right hand. And what the left hand is doing is three, four. So 
So it's circling around, it's making a light tap, you're holding the brush tip on the drum and then you're continuing to circle as you do that. And all of these again kind of assume basic rudimental skills with the brushes, but just by practicing this you'll be improving your chops with the brushes and you'll also be playing something functional that works in a real musical setting. So one, two, three, four. So the second half of the lick, which the whole lick is, and we'll get into the three part of it in a second, but the second part of the lick is just one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So we put that together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. So that's the lick in four. Now we're going to hemiolize it. Hemiola is a bastardization of a word that's used in kind of classical music theory. But essentially what I use it to mean is that you're using groups of three notes or six notes to equal out to a symmetrical phrase in four. So instead of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, you have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one. Or instead of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, one. You can stretch it over the bar line. So one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 one, two, one, etc. Right? Once you hear it, you know it. It's pretty prevalent in prog rock, but you hear it in a lot of things. So instead of just three, four. One, two, three, four, one. We can hemiolize this to make it three, four. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. So the last thing we're going to add to this is a little bass drum variation, not variation, a little bass drum note, which just gives the thing a little bit of a, a period on the end of it. So that'll be three, four. So we can transition to this from our standard four groove. Let's do it without skip notes first. So let's pretend we're starting in four and I'll show you a, a cool way to go into it. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So I like that because it starts on the four. Let's do it a little slower. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four, one, two, three. And when you start it on the four like that, it ends on the one, uh, which is one reason I really like it. So. There's a triplet variation to this, which is So let's look at that really quickly. And we'll do it in four and then make it in three again. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. And basic components. So you see, 
there's that overlap again. So just make sure that sounds seamless. Listen to the way it sounds when I play it. Try to make it sound not as good, but better than mine. So. So that's the lick in three, three, four. So in four, starting on four, the way we did before, one, two, three, four. So we can also transition between and among the eighth note and the triplet. So we can do one, two, three, four. Etc. So play with that, explore with it. Let me know what you guys think. I think that if you are persistent with it and you don't give up that in addition to having some cool licks to play with medium tempo brush grooves you'll also be developing the chops a little bit and again we looked at a, a few of the component pieces like this half moon stuff the uh internal circles i guess you would say so that's when you're rotating toward the center of your body from the extremity with each hand as opposed to external circles I don't really know how to say that but and then the the tap stroke while you hold the tip of the brush on the drum and resume the circle and finally the sort of multitasking where one brush is sustaining a sound while the other brush is making a sound so there are lots of other sounds you can make with the brushes I'm deliberately using I think what Ed Sof calls a tap there's also a tone that he calls a fop, which is more of the, the brush head, so. You can experiment with that. Um, in my experience, when I'm going directly hand to hand, the tap works better and it's less forced. I like the fop when I'm making a sweep with the right hand, so. But again, plenty of different things you can do with that. So dudes, if you've enjoyed this lesson and or if you've been checking out the channel for a little while, you feel like you dig what we're doing here and you feel like you wanna go a little bit deeper, you wanna work in sequence on the fundamentals and not just the fundamentals of everything, but the small subset of the fundamentals that's going to get you from where you are to your drum goals quickest, I recommend something called the 8020 Coaching Course. That's my flagship product it's like six months to a year of lessons with me for around the price of a single lesson we only open it about once every three to six months so if you want to get on the wait list and you want what i call a gateway drug to the coaching course i recommend you check out my completely free three video series it's going to go deeper than the free youtube videos and show you a lot more of the what the way I teach is about just click on the link directly below the video player to pick that up dudes It's been real be back real soon with another lesson of the week. Peace